So I've been making a few videos on SMP, uh, Spot My Photos, uh, spotmyphotos.com. Spot my photo, spotmyphotos.com. I'll put a link in the description. And um, I've been playing a lot with it lately and we've been troubleshooting with a few new people and Ryan has been so graciously uh, there and available and helping me and helping everybody that's signing up. And there's not a huge learning curve, but one of the things that's really cool about this software, um, this app, is that when you have a Canon R6 or R5, um, Canon actually developed an API that you can use this, so this app, this software directly with your camera. So how you can use SMP right now, and we're gonna talk about one of them specifically, is there's a corded option, meaning you can take your cord, plug it into your phone, directly into your camera, and then it'll read, like any tethered situation, but to your iPhone. Um, and then you can do a, um, a, um, an iFi card, right? So Spot My Photo has an iFi card that you purchase um, that plugs into your card slot one and that directly tethers from your card to your phone as you're shooting like normal. But the other thing is it's a complete wireless system where there's an API built into Canon on the latest update where you can actually um, set it up and it reads directly. So no card, no anything. You shoot as if you didn't even have it and it just goes directly to there. So we're gonna talk to you guys about setting it up and any troubleshooting that I may come with that uh, right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, uh, my name is Jeremy. I own Jeremy Lou Photography out in Reno, Nevada, and I am a professional commercial and wedding professional, wedding commercial and portrait photographer. Um, and my channel is full of photography stuff, dad stuff too, but we're gonna talk about photography stuff. Um, so of course, check out the link. I do have a coupon code for you guys in the description if you guys wanna use this app, this service, um, but they've been amazing. Right now they're kind of touring all the, the WPPIs, the Wedding MBA, all that stuff, and that's kind of where I met them. So um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys how to set this up. If you have questions, please ask. Um, it's a fairly easy system. I've been using it for about five months now. And it's a fairly easy system to use, um, but I did have questions at the beginning and hopefully this video will help you with those questions so that you can kind of just go on and shoot. Um, as with anything, troubleshoot and test this stuff at home right when you get it before you do an event so you learn how to test and troubleshoot. And I'll kind of talk to you guys a little bit about um, some of the issues I might have run into and why I ran into it because I didn't know why at the beginning, but now I know. All right, so I'll turn you guys around. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to set this up for you guys the best way that I can. I am getting a lot of text messages right now because we're setting up a bridal crawl and I can't put this in airplane mode just because I have to show you guys. Um, so we're gonna go into um, Spot My Photos app looks like this. Right now I'm testing out their new beta, um, just a new system that they're adding to it. So I'll kind of open it up right now. Um, I don't have an event set up right now. Um, so I think I have to quickly set up an event. So let me go do that. Okay, so I went to my computer, I set up an event, and here it is. This is our test event. Um, I've made a full video on how to set up this test, uh, any event, so you guys can find that video on my channel as well. But basically, it's just a test event to kind of show something. I used a past client here, and I'm able to go on, and you have three options right now. Um, you have the Spot My Photos SD card, you have the cord, and the Camera Direct. So we're going to be using the built-in Camera Direct Wi-Fi. And so basically you have to set your camera up for a few things right now. When you click on it and you don't set anything up, um, you will have a camera disconnected. It can't find the camera because it's not using the, um, the API. It's not using the system that it's using now. Now, um, when you first get the system, they have a very cool tutorial on their website on how to set this up the first time. Once you set up the first time, you don't have to set it up again. I set mine up four months ago and I haven't actually used the API in about four months. I've always used the card. It just was, it was better for me. Um, but now I feel like the, the system has updated and it, the, the camera, the API direct, which we're talking about here is gonna work way better. So a couple things we have to set up on our camera first. I put everything in my star menu here, if you guys can see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna be shooting at S2 and RAW. It pulls everything from your first camera slot. S2 is the lowest RAW 
um, that you can get. So you have raw and S2, which is, uh, I guess it's not the lowest raw, it's like the medium. Oh no, it is, it looks like the lowest. I don't know, it's 3.8 megabytes. And this is for a faster file transfer. It transfers about one megabyte per second on average. So you want it to have quickly, and I still shoot to my second, um, to my second raw, uh, full raw, and that doesn't affect it at all. So this is our settings that we're gonna have it at to start. And then what we're gonna do is we're, we're basically gonna go into our um, Wi-Fi settings. Now I have it set up to my smart here, but if you go into your Wi-Fi uh, settings here, you'll be able to do, um, you'll be able to select Wi-Fi settings. So you've already set up everything before. You go into your uh, camera control API and you go into connect, right? So you've already set up everything. As you can see, I have two cameras that I use and so I have two cameras set up. So if I decide to use my other R6, I can. Um, the tutorial will teach you how to get to here or have this already built into your camera. But once it's in there one time, like I said, you're done, right? So now we're waiting to connect to network. So just like anything else that uses your wi the, the Wi-Fi, you go to your settings, you go to your Wi-Fi, and you're gonna wait for it to come up. It shows up right there. And I'm in. And then I'm gonna go back to spot my photo and it should connect. Connection established, money, great, good to go. Just like that, I am now in the, uh, I'm in the app. So I'm in the app, this is blank right now because I haven't taken any pictures. We have our link. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go through this with you guys, right? So every time, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna take five pictures right away. It takes about a second a picture to kind of show up. Since this is our first one, you can kind of see the images are showing up right here. So five pictures showed up really quickly. In the Spot My Photo app, how it works, I'm gonna to try to take a selfie here. I am shooting with the 28, I should be able to do this. So the Spot My Photos app works, of course, that I'm able to click my image. I'm able to then put my phone number in here. I'm spotting my face. You guys can definitely call me if you want. And then I should get a text message up here. You've been spotted in the photo. And since this is just a test, this is how it all kind of works, right? It then takes you to a link, you register. Um, actually, I actually don't think you have to register. Boom, my image is right there, Jeremy. Um, I don't have anything set up in here. I don't have the logo, I don't have anything, but you can brand this whole page out. You've been spotted in one photo. And the cool thing is, guys, is any picture that's taken with my face in it should start showing up in here, at least in the API. So I've left this, let's go back to spot my photos. I just took five more pictures here and it's gonna upload really quickly, right? Just kind of shows up right there, nothing's changed. I don't have a corded tether, I don't have a um, SD card in there and nothing's really changed. So, um, I think it's gonna recognize my face here. I don't know if it sends another text message how fast it goes. You can always click on this middle one. And what the middle one does is it shows how many people you've spotted and how many uh, photos are in the queue. So right now they're all up, they've all been uploaded. But so if you're shooting in an area with, um, like, like I was shooting inside a casino, I live in Reno, I was shooting in a casino and there was just no signal anywhere. Had nothing to do with the camera, had nothing to do with the phone. Well, it had to do with the phone, but the, basically my bars were gone. So basically the, the images were just queued here because they weren't going anywhere. So once I stepped outside or to a location, all of a sudden it just queued right away. It just went right away, everybody got their photos uh, immediately. Um, let me see. Oh my God, eight text messages, oh Jesus. So I think that's taking a second to, oh, cool. Seven more photos. So it's just spotting me in these photos. Um, I don't know how often it sends that text message, but I think it sends that text messages a few times or if you wait a few minutes after shooting somebody or come, like half hour or something, you'll come back and shoot somebody, they'll get another text message. You've been spotted in more photos. But right now, every time I go in to upload it, I'm spotted in more photos. And guys, I only clicked this first picture of myself. The, the technology built into this got my face right and started, um, adding images that of me, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I have a, some pictures of us on the wall here. I wanna see how good this is. Um, so I'm gonna take a couple pictures here. You guys are, I don't know, about 10 feet away from me right now. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not even changing my exposure. Seven, eight, nine. So I'm taking kind of weird angle. Like I have some pictures up here of weird angles of myself. So I want to see if it'll, how good this, if it'll actually like recognize me in these photos, what it actually looks for. Ryan told me it looks for your facial features and then it looks for your clothing as well. So let's go into the Spot My Photos app. And I haven't disconnected, I haven't done anything. I did walk away from it. I was away, you can see this little signal thing, this little Wi-Fi thing happening. Now the images that I shot as I got closer to the camera are working because it's a direct connection. I didn't take my phone with me. This thing right here is turning red. If I click on this, guys, what's gonna say is camera's disconnected and then it's connected again. Um, there's always a delay in some sort and I've noticed that if I take 10 pictures really quickly, boom, 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 it'll do that disconnect. It doesn't actually mean it's disconnected and that can scare you a little bit while you're shooting. But as you can see behind it, it's still uploading my images, right? It, the camera is just thinking and working. And as the technology gets better with Canon, I believe that's gonna change um, as they work these two systems together. What you do not wanna do is when you see this red happening and you're like, oh my God, my camera's not connected. See, it just connected right there. Do not turn your camera off. One of the things that they'll tell you is make sure your camera is in the always on mode and your phone is always on mode because if it's in the card, if it's in the camera, it's going to upload no matter what. If you guys are sitting there and it's turning red and you're like, my camera's not uploading, and then you turn off your camera, there's a good chance that it's just not gonna upload because you cut that upload process. Leave everything on. So mine was red, I didn't touch anything, and it uploaded everything. So here's some pictures, of, these are pictures of pictures of, my, of me on the, the, the wall, right? So I wanna see, the queue is done, I wanna see, if that showed up, oh man. Let's see if any of those showed up in that gallery. Did it recognize, <laughs> look at that. Look how trippy that is. This recognized me in this photo, this photo, this photo. There's a few photos it didn't, I'll show you guys that. 16 photos it recognized me in, and those were just pictures of me. So if I'm at an event and somebody's shooting me from far away and I'm, my, I'm wearing a hat right now, and those were no hat, um, but like it didn't recognize this, this, because it's a side of my face, not enough stuff. Um, it didn't recognize, obviously, that one because that's Jamie, my kids, my, my wife, and all that. Um, but, you know, if I, if I tagged my wife in here, so if I go into here and click her face, I can put her number in, and then, and then I can tag her in it as well. I'll show you guys how the Q thing works here. So I'm just going to take 10 random pictures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to take 10 random pictures, and the Q should show up in here um, as images that are... are uploading or not uploading. So this is what it kind of looks like. 1.1 megabytes uploading, one uploading, and as it goes, you can kind of see little transitions happening here. I tried to move a little so you can see, but if you take 10 images and they upload at one megabyte per second, it should take about 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds for it to finally upload um, into the system. And once that's empty, that's empty. So what I've noticed is when I'm shooting in a casino or I'm shooting in somewhere where I'm limited on network, Wi-Fi, not even Wi-Fi, on cellular network alone, this might just get stuck. It will, it'll get stuck. Sometimes it says retry. And I used to get frustrated. I was like, why is this happening? But then I would walk outside and all of a sudden it would happen like this. Everything would just be gone, right? So it's gonna keep trying until it's gone. So now it's done. So if, if those were spotted by anybody, um, if those were spotted by anybody, these are what's available to spot. If those were spotted by anybody, then they would be uploaded now into it. Now, this last one here is your, your settings. It shows me um, spots, one by one. So it was just me, my phone number, right? So this is one by one. So it, sp it found one, uploaded one, and there's a total of one. I'll shoot an event where this is like 200, 300, where I've spotted 300 people. Now they have my logo, they have my email, they have all my information to get a hold of me after the event. This shows that I shot 40 images and 40 were uploaded, right? At the end of the day, um, so the offline mode is curious. So if you guys are shooting an event, it's like I was shooting in the casino, and I go into off and, I, and nothing's uploading. I'm like, the service sucks here. I'm just, I don't wanna kill my battery. I don't wanna do anything. You can go into offline mode. And what offline mode is it does store the images like normal, but instead of uh, storing the images and, and retrying and retrying and sending it out, when you're done, you can just go back on online mode. Say you walk outside, 
then it starts uploading right away. You're not killing your battery. It's not constantly trying, kind of waste your battery. Um, if you have low battery on this, I do have some chargers that I kind of take with me just in case. Um, usually my events are three to four hours, so I might have to charge halfway through just because I get a little OCD about that stuff. When you're finally done with everything, you end session and you log out. So that's it. That's the Canon API. That's everything built in. It shows the camera's dead right now. Oh, now it's connected, right? Don't worry about this. Do not worry about this. What I do want, to, I'm gonna pull this away. So that's that, that's that, it's connected. What I can do now is end session, boom. End session will then stop any uploading from it coming at all. So make sure that your number matches here until you're done, unless you don't care anymore. Um, end session. Cool, and that's my test, right? So what I want you guys to know is um, some questions were, hey Jeremy, what if I'm shooting something that I don't want people to see? Remember how this software works. It only tells people that their pictures are available based on their face, right? So if you're shooting picture at a wedding, you're shooting a bunch of people and then all of a sudden you go shoot the cake, you shoot some decor, it'll still upload on the Spot My Photos on the app itself, but it won't send it to anybody because you haven't attached them, you haven't spotted them in anything, right? You haven't spotted a cake on somebody's phone number, so there'd be no reason for them to send to you. So I just shoot like normal. Um, again, you're shooting at, at the S2 on that first card and then the regular. So what I do want you guys to know is in troubleshooting this, some frustrating things that happened to me that were just me not being patient enough and me not asking the right questions because I did test a lot of this um, with the help of Ryan and his team at Spot My Photos is that, that connection thing. Um, if you're ever at an event, um, and me, a lot of casinos, a lot of indoor, a lot of basement type stuff where I'm shooting inside and everything's kind of, you know, there's gaming machines, there's Wi-Fi, there's connection, and something's bogging down my system. What I'll notice is I'll take two pictures right away. Um, I'll go and take boom, boom, and all of a sudden two pictures will upload, and then all of a sudden they'll say disconnected, disconnected. And I'm like, it's not uploading. Um, I'm able to then spot at least those two photos, and then I'll walk around. I'll walk around a little bit, and maybe like a minute later, all of a sudden those photos will come up. Um, and then I'll take two more pictures, and then it'll drop. And then it'll do it again. And I'm like, why is it doing this? Why is it? And at first I was like, something's broken. Something's broken. And after troubleshooting with another photographer who was dealing with this, I was like, where are you? And we found out it's a location. Something's blocking the signal. And whether Canon or Spot My Photos can come in later on and actually work on this, fix this, create a blocker, because you're doing a, a direct Wi-Fi from your Canon to your phone. Um, but if something else is blocking it, it's just it's disconnecting it, your camera's getting crazy, and it's not letting the images go through. What I recommend in this situation is shoot like normal, right? Shoot like normal. Do not turn off your camera, do not turn off your Wi-Fi, do not reset anything, just shoot like normal, okay? Um, as long as your camera is on and it's, it's connected to your phone still, the images will end up uploading. And so what I had to do was I would then take a bunch of pictures and I would kind of step outside for a little bit. Actually, I stepped right out the door because when I was in the convention center, I didn't have signal, I stepped out the door and then I, all the images uploaded, then I kind of walked around again and saw the same people and then went back and actually spotted their photos. And then when I went back out again, their photos went out. So it's a little bit of a pain, but it has nothing really to do with this right now. It's just because of the environment that they're in, right? So any casino, anything closed, anything that has a ton of technology, it'll, it'll do that for you. What I recommend in this situation is having that spotter card that spotter card will defeat this. That spotter card will have a direct connection from your card. So if you're noticing that, feel free just to rock that spotter card in your camera slot one. And then also the corded thing, which they're working on now, which isn't fully done, which I'm testing. You saw that on mine. You're not gonna see that in yours, uh, depending on when you watch this video. But that spotter card, guys, is what you're going to be, um, or the corded solution is also another thing that directly as well, and that's a direct connection. It has nothing to do with your Wi-Fi or anything like that. It's just a direct tether that'll go into there and work out as well. So there's ways around it, but again, test it out and you'll learn as you go. But if you have the Canon, the Canon API first, spotter card in your bag, ready to go just in case, you're good to go. Uh, this is a long video. So guys, if you have any questions, let me know. But thank you so much for watching. Spotmyphoto.com, um, spotmyphotos.com, SMP is what I call it. And um, download the app. I have a coupon code that will give you a bunch of cool stuff to get you going. And um, of course, I'm here if you have any questions, let me know. And I'm trying to make a bunch of videos to help you guys out. Thanks, guys.